Let's simplify the fraction 12 one hundredths. So here's how we do it. We're looking for a fraction that's equivalent to 12 over 100. It has the same value. It's just that we've simplified it to its lowest terms. So we need to find a common factor, something that goes into 12 and 100. So these are the factors for 12 and 100. So we're looking for the greatest common factor that goes into 12 and 100. And it looks like four is gonna be the greatest common factor. So we'll divide 12 by four, 100 by four, and we'll have reduced the fraction 12 one hundredths. Let's move these over here. So 12 divided by four gives us three, and then 100 divided by four gives us 25. So we get three 25ths. We can't reduce this any further. So we've reduced or simplified the fraction 12 over 100 down to three over 25. These are equivalent fractions. If you divide three by 25 or 12 by 100, you'll get the same answer. It's just that we've reduced 12 one hundredths down to three fifths. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.